That never gets old right there. What's going on guys? Welcome back. We made it out to Texas. We got our place set up. We're finally able to get out here and do some fishing. We're out on the Laguna Madre with a Pioneer in kayak fishing this morning. None other than Chris Castro of Next Level Fishing TV. I've known Chris for years. It's awesome to be able to finally get out and do some fishing with him. He's super knowledgeable, very intelligent angler, well established in the turnout community. So he's nice enough to show us some ropes out here. We're setting up a drift on the Laguna Madre looking for trout, redfish. We hit some lights this morning, but uh, this is beautiful, man. About a 10 mile an hour wind. We're out on a grass flat, huge grass flat, stretches for miles. The yeah, Laguna Madre runs for 100 miles. It's just a big lagoon. It's, it's awesome, man. We're gonna get out to get up for some fishing. Stay tuned. I started out initially throwing a topwater lure, and you can see just how explosive these blowups are. But I had several short strikes, so Based on the water clarity and the shallow depths, I decided to swap to a more optimal subsurface presentation. <laughs> oh, there he is. Try not to let him take me into the uh, school here. <laughs> <laughs> I was just making sure I was recording. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're blowing up all over out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> what, did, what did you catch that one on? A swim bait. Okay, nice. Yeah. He's decent. Probably 25. Oh, Ooh, it's crazy how clear this water is. Oh, beautiful redfish. Yeah, birds diving. Oh, dude, I seen him come up by the kayak and get it. <laughs> He's got a big old head on him, dude. <laughs> oh, he snatched it like two feet from the kayak. No, man, swim bait. <laughs> oh man, this is too much fun. <laughs> Golly, dude. Yeah, this water's so clear, man. You could see him come up and grab it. Oh, yeah. oh he's around the rudder. There he is. Got him. That one's 
not quite as big as the last one, but man, what a fighter. He came up and snatched it. That was an awesome eat. Look how clear this water is. It's crazy. There he goes. Man. Chris is up there in the autopilot. He's an ambassador for Old Town. I gotta get my uh, kayak registered here to run my motor. The game wardens are kind of strict out here. I guess they do a TV show and they kind of keep a tight leash on people. So I don't want to. I don't want to risk it by rolling the dice. The current, the tide's starting to pick up now, pretty good. I'm pumped to get my motor. This will be a perfect environment for it. These wide open flats, just cruising through. It's clear water. You can look out. See tails. Oh, another trout. Another little trout. The pattern on these trout's crazy. It's like a camouflage. I guess it's because they're hanging out on these grass flats. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this dude's peeling some drag. Man, you can see that fish fighting. That's what is insane to me. Is how clear it is. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Another solid red. God, this is too much fun, man. Real quick, as I'm editing this video, I realized I didn't really go over the lures I was using. I was having way too much fun catching this fish. But uh, the lure I had the most success on was the Slayer Ink Swimbait Paddle Tail in the color Houdini and the classic gold spoon, the half ounce variety. This one's made by Flats Intruder, although I don't know that would have mattered much. Um, both of these lures work great out on these shallow water grass flats. But uh, anyway, back out on the water. There he is. <laughs> oh man. This dude's got some power in him. Oh yeah. <laughs> Jeez! 
He's taking a run. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> He's got some shoulders, buddy. <laughs> My wife gave me crap about saying that one time. She's like, how does a fish have shoulders on it? I'm like, they just do, I don't know. <laughs> some of them do. <laughs> Look how clear that water is. You can see that red fighting all the way down. That's a solid red. Boom! how clear this water is didn't really like the way we got the release on that fish so try to get some water in his lungs some air in his lungs there he goes nice strong release there he is there he is fish on baby much fun my first time out on the water fishing in Texas since I've been stationed here what an absolute incredible day on the water I think I'm really really gonna enjoy this fishery it's not even fall yet once the fall gets here and things cool off it's gonna be on fire I mean, we're in the heat of the summer and it's already this good. It's crystal clear water. Man, what an awesome fishery. There's some in front of me tailing. Might be a school of reds. Oh my God, yes, a school of reds. Let's see him. Chris! Big school. Oh yeah, there they are. Oh God, look at them go. Dude. <laughs> it's crazy. There's like 50 redfish right here on this flat. Insane, dude. Oh man, the fishing out here is insane. They're all swimming together too. Look at them, oh, there's a big one, there's a bull. Oh my God, there's probably 50 redfish right there. It's insane, dude. I seen their tails coming up when I was eating. I almost choked, I grabbed my rod real fast. Ooh. 
quite done yet, is he? Dude, there was a school of like at least 50 of them. I was eating and I was pulling up and I see nothing but tails. I cast it into it right away and then they moved like 20 yards and I picked up this one. He's probably 26, 27. Solid fish, man. I could dang near do this all day. <laughs> Get them all. There they are. Yeah, those are reds, I think. <laughs> you still? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. Oh, got, got, hooked up. Hooked up. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll go under you. They're swimming together. They're swimming together. If you cast in here, you probably land one. No, they're not spooked yet. Right here's one. Right here's a big one. Yeah, you're hooked up. <laughs> Doubled up, baby. Double, double. Yeah, <laughs> dude. That never gets old right there. No, man, this is awesome. Hey, this dude is still running. <laughs> <laughs> Boom in the net. Oh, Lee, what a stud. Damn. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 let me get my sideways like that. You got your leg right there? Yeah. Nice up the slot reds. Sure. Brushing it. Oh, dude, that'll be a good picture right there. Good, man, man that, that was a lot though. Yeah, no. I know. I didn't, I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen a school that big. Not not this time of year. This guy back in the water. Like that, that's a school. We're, I was talking about pods earlier. Well, that's what I seen <laughs> when I first hollered at you. Yeah. They were like that earlier? Yeah, they were like that earlier. Thicker, wow. even thicker, I think. And they were going out that way, right? There he goes. <laughs> we're just cleaning up here. This place is pretty cool. You can park anywhere along the beach. Just pull up, launch, park your car here. No one cares. Very interesting. What do you think, Chris? It was good. Fun day, huh? Rare days, like you want to come out and you don't want it. You you want to jinx yourself, and uh, we definitely didn't jinx ourselves. <laughs> like we could have been super confident and done good today. Like the fish were just everywhere. Yeah, but. How cool was that, dude? I mean, it was fun. Even on the first for, trip. For my first trip out in Corpus, I'm definitely going to be yeah. spoiled. That was awesome. Yeah. Did yeah. you get the recording of uh, when, you, when we were talking? Yeah. And we saw the fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I turned it on real quick on that last one. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. But yeah, we'll be out again soon. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next time.